Have you heard about blinks on Solana? Are you using them? Do you know what you can do with them? We'll cover that all in this video now. So on the 25th of June, blinks on Solana was released. You can do so many things, vote, donate, mint, all from within Twitter. The teams that made this happen were of course Solana and Dialect. And right now there's native support in Backpack, Phantom, and also OKX and Soulflare have some support as well. What we're gonna go through specifically relates to Twitter. But don't worry because an SDK has been released. As you can see, Twitter for now, then Twitch, LinkedIn, Discord, Reddit, and then Phantom. In other words, within the wallet itself. This is covered in more detail in this Medium post here. Basically, the goal of this is to unfurl the internet, where if you want to do something on the Solana blockchain, you can do it directly within your favorite apps. You don't have to leave what you're doing, go somewhere else, work out if it's a trusted transaction, do the transaction, etc. You can do it all within the environment you're currently in. Now, you may not even know what a blink looks like. This here, right here, is a blink, only it hasn't been activated. A blink is a blockchain link. It allows us to interrupt with this dApp from within the confines of the dApp that we're in, or the app that we're in, such as Twitter. Behind the blink is an action. An action is a back end, and the blink is a front end. So this is from Lulo, and this is a blink. And when it actually renders as a blink, you can see it. it's a moving GIF, and down here, we have the option of actually depositing 100 USDC, 200 or 500 into Lulo in order to maximize our DeFi yield. So what happens is your wallet, either Soulflare, Phantom, Backpack, or maybe OKX wallet, it takes the link, it unfurls it, and it shows you this amazing blink. Here's a great post and all these links will be posted below if you want a little bit more written information. Explain like I'm five, DeFi lays it out really cleanly. You have the Solana blockchain, there's an API, it pulls the information, it works with the wallets, there's a public registry where all of the data is stored that basically tells you if a dApp is good or not, if it's trusted, and then this goes and shows you something you can interact with without having to leave your app. So before we go any further, let's show you how to turn on Blinks. Let's start with Backpack. We'll go into Backpack, we'll go up to the top left, then we'll go to our settings, then Solana, and then just toggle this on. Allow Solana Actions on X. Make sure that's toggled on. By the way, at present, this is only available within the extension. So on your computer, it does not work on your mobile phone. That's how we do it with Backpack. For Phantom, we go into Phantom, into our settings. Then we scroll on down, we go to Experimental Features, and we just toggle this on right here. SolanaActionsOnX.com. Now at present, Soulflare doesn't have this function built in. They're still working on it. What you can do though, is you can just go to dial.to, this is Dialect's website, come down the bottom, try out the extension, and install Dialect Blinks. This tool here allows you to select Soulflare, and then the Blinks will work. Now before we go any further and actually start to try out some of these Blinks, just keep in mind that if you've got multiple wallets installed, and they all have Blinks turned on, maybe the right wallet won't actually pop up. So it's probably best that you're just using one wallet for this. Now I just showed you Lulo's Blink, let me show you some more. Now, Famous Foxes have raffle links. You can literally just go to raffle.famousfoxes.com and you can go and find any of these raffles. So maybe this one, maybe this one, whatever you like. Click on it, copy the link, then you can just go to Twitter and you can paste it just like this. Then it shows you how much your tickets are, how many tickets are remaining, when it ends, and you can either buy one ticket or five tickets. We'll go ahead and we'll go and buy one ticket and it's connecting to Phantom. For whatever reason, it's chosen Phantom. So just keep this in mind if you've got multiple wallets installed to turn off the function with the wallets that you don't want so that there's no confusion. But we'll confirm here, and we now have one raffle ticket. If we click on this link, this goes to the raffle page. We'll go ahead and we can connect any of our wallets because they're all the same. We'll connect, and you can see we have one ticket owned. Portals, the metaverse, they've also experimented with Blinks. They had keys available, you could go and mint a key and then take that key into the game to potentially win this armor. You can also do donations. As an example, we can go and donate one USDC or we can go and set a custom amount. Just click on that and then approve the transaction and we don't have to leave Twitter. Cubic, which does community driven funding for different projects, they also have their own link. So if you wanna help see this game succeed, you can go and donate some soul and confirm. Same with Metadel or any project on Cubic. You can even play Pokemon. It's a little bit slow because every single time that you push this, you have to go and approve the transaction and it doesn't seem to be working perfectly, but 
You could play Pokemon a few days ago, and I'm sure you can again soon. You can also vote on things. As an example, there's a realms vote. There's nothing available right now, but this was happening just earlier. If you want to buy something from Jupiter, you can do it straight here in the app. We can go and buy some JLP with Sol, $10, and just like that, approve the transaction. You can do the same thing with Radium. Just go and get a link, paste it into Twitter, and then it's converted and unfurled into a blink. Circuit has market making yields for everyone. A Delta neutral JLP vault. Go and add some JLP if you're keen. And Drift Protocol can help you earn some yield on your USDC. You can go and deposit some USDC into Drift as well. If you like to do DeFi farming or if you like meme coins, you can go to Meteora and you can go and get a referral link. Copy that and then go paste a link on Twitter and you can buy the send coin directly from this liquidity pool. If you want to stake from Twitter, you can do that as well. Or if you wanted to grab one of Sanctum's LSTs, like some Bonksol, go and put in how much you want to buy, buy Bonksol, and approve it in your wallet. What about gambling? Well, Hedgehog Markets has you covered. Now, these were much better odds very recently, but due to changes in political news, now you can see what the new odds are. But with Prediction Markets, you can do it inside this blink. You can also buy floor NFTs. As an example, a Tensorian. At present, you can only buy a floor one, so a random one. It doesn't allow you to pick one, but you can still do it straight away just from Twitter. Or you may have heard of Sandcoin. This NFT went absolutely crazy. 100,000 were minted and the floor price shot up over 100x. The floor price has come down again now, but you can buy one of these as well. Solana Blinks are so crazy and popular that Bankless, our friends that are Ethereum maxis, literally allowed a guest post to cover the topic. But how blinks are a major step in the right direction. It's well written and probably one of their most highest performing posts, I would say. Now, personally, with blinks, I think there's heaps of opportunity. If you minted the Sendcoin NFT and sold it at the right time, that went up quite considerably. But other than that, it's just a good way of onboarding people. It's a lot less friction. So what you should do is go and join the blinks community. Click on this and join in here. Lots of Blink news is always posted in this channel. You can go and mint different NFTs. You can ask people anonymously different questions. I tried this out, didn't love it to be honest, but it's a great proof of concept and I'm sure it can improve. And you can even buy tokens that are highly likely kind of rug. Now, if you're a dev, this is where you go from. There's Blink build days in real life meetups to learn the basics. And you can also go and apply for a grant or you can go and get a $1,000 micro grant from Super Team Earn and Say Dialect. There are a lot of blinks being shipped. This explorer covers some of them and more are being added every day. And there's a new tool out, which is a blink generator. This allows you to basically create your own blink. You go to blinkgenerator.com, select your wallet, Soul Flare, connect, and you can choose either donation, token sale, NFT mint, put in the title, the image, description, label, and then go next, do the next steps, grab that link, and then go and put it on your Twitter. Now, what about security? Well, if you know who I am, or if you've ever seen one of my videos on wallet management, I do like to have different wallets for different things. It's just much better security. So as this is all new, and as things can change, it's still a very good idea to use a burner wallet or a wallet that just interacts with blinks, especially as they're so new. I don't anticipate any dodgy business happening because there is actually a registry which says if something's trusted, locked, or if it hasn't been registered. But still, regardless of all things, that's always my suggestion. If you're playing in a new area, you always go and use a wallet with minimal funds. Now to summarize Blinks, the future looks very, very bright. What I personally do and what my suggestion is, and of course it's not financial advice, but go and interact with Blinks. If you want to build a Blink, go get a micro grant and build a Blink. Make something fun. We're all pretty much addicted to Twitter anyway. And if we don't have to leave Twitter, that has a lot of product market fit. Then when it gets added to Discord and Reddit and other sources as well, this makes things a lot easier, a lot faster. Like as an example, imagine a new meme coin comes out, you can see the chart, then you can just go and buy some just straight there. You can buy it while you're still reading other comments about people thinking it's gonna go to the moon or be the next bonk. Whatever the case, it has brilliant use case, so make sure you go and use it. That's all for this video. If you liked it, like it. If you loved it, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next tutorial.